I have been very involved the last 18 hours or so with uh, conversations in the Burning Man community around a meme that I saw. It was a picture of, this is not Burning Man, this is Burning Man. What the person was trying to say is that media portrayal of Burning Man as these hot women is dangerous to the event, you know, and that we, people need to understand that that's not what Burning Man is. But the problem with the meme is that it points the finger at the women. He's trying to say media representation is the problem. I agreed. Too many people see that as, as an aspect of Burning Man, and then they come looking for that in the desert. They want to go to raves with hot girls. Those people are looking for a plug-and-play type experience. That's problematic. But the meme um, makes it look like hot women taking pictures of themselves is, is a problem to Burning Man. And it's not. One, it just showed women. So if you're going to say hot you know, models and Instagrammers that just take pictures at Burning Man of themselves is a problem, that would at least eliminate the misogyny of it. But there's nothing wrong with taking pictures. Of yourself for many years the way that I expressed myself at Burning Man was through making outfits and working on my body I was I used my body as a canvas and that process of radical self-expression and having a, a, a canvas for that dramatically changed my life there was a period of time when I was a pretty sexy motherfucker and I didn't become a sexy motherfucker until I was able to explore and, and allow myself to love myself. I started taking pictures of myself as Burning Man when the huge part of my brain still thought that I was unattractive, did not, you know, was uncool, super insecure. And I was given permission to let myself be bah! Whoa, ooh, in my, you know, show off my body and, and let myself be fully expressed. Now, that part of my brain, it's not gone. It is way smaller now because I got to exercise and, and grow this other part of my brain of self-acceptance and self-love. So when people get critical of like, well, well the, the problem is, that the, is the narcissism. I'm like, no, no, that's not. No, narcissism, as you're describing it, of people putting effort into turning themselves into art, that is not a problem. That is well within the window of radical self-expression, well within the way that burners express themselves by not bothering anybody else. If you don't like the way someone's dressed, Keep riding your bike. If you don't like a piece of art, keep riding. We don't make posts saying, I don't like this art. It's pretentious. I mean, dude, pretty man, we, we don't gatekeep. We don't curate. We encourage radical self-expression. We have radical inclusion. And and so that that's what got me so riled up. People are so angry about people commodifying Burning Man, you know, or people that come to Burning Man, they're Instagrammers that make money off, off their, their being in, influencers, and they just go places and use the backdrops to, you know, as a commodified expression of, to try to, you know, make their living. Um, and, and people are so angry at that, that they start to, to accuse anyone who's taking a picture that looks like they could be an influencer, because they're either their bodies are at a certain level of low body fat or their makeup is a certain way or the outfits are just so incredible that people have been attacking verbally women who look like they could be Instagram models. Since I've put this thread out there and since I've been talking about it, I've had way too many people share stories Way too many women share stories. And even I just talked to uh, Jamin Piercy, who is the incredible photographer. He's the one who did the, the cover of my book. And he said that he stopped doing portraits at Burning Man because he had such a horrible experience of people yelling about them. he and the model ruining Burning Man. 
as he was taking pictures of a beautiful burner in a beautiful outfit. You can't tell anything about a photo when it's being taken. Now, if Jamin then used that in a way that was negative, call it out. But you can't tell that from a photo. And you can't tell how much someone participates in Burning Man by the way they dress. I know a ton of women who look like models and sometimes even go out and do photo shoots scheduled with a photographer when they're clean. And then later in the day, they fucking work their asses off at camps on mutant vehicles, volunteering in different ways, running shit, building shit. And so it's, it's, it's so frustrating to hear this closed mindedness and aggression and abuse happening within the community. Now, I know it's not everyone. It's, 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 it's a, there's just a little. But that kind of behavior is so detrimental. And when, when, we, when people see a meme like that and laugh it off, it, it, it makes it that stronger. It makes it more okay. It makes it acceptable. If you see someone yelling at some woman, you're like, well, I wasn't going to yell at them, but yeah, let's shame those people. No. So I applaud all of those people who are finding their radical self-expression in different ways. And uh, I hope that we all find compassion. I think we need to be very careful that you don't ruin a beautiful thing, a beautiful community, by being so ugly in your attempts to protect it. Thank you. Love you. See you at home.